Bad ending to a really good season. Um, and, you know, I just talked to the team just about you got to take the emotion out of it. And although we didn't play well and they played terrific, we have to understand what our weaknesses are. And I would say it's certainly defense and individually, collectively, coaching, all of it's got to be better because you can't win that way, especially when tonight the ball wasn't going in. And we were getting some decent looks, but they're going to force you kind of what you had made the point about the two-point shots versus three. We couldn't make threes uh, until the end. Uh, but although I gladly talk about the game, um, you know, you, you, you sit back and you reflect on what we're building. And what I talk to those guys about in the locker room is you did some amazing things, amazing things. Um, be proud of it, but we got to become a better team. And if, if, if we'll have conversations and it's the reality of the profession, unfortunately, that we're in where – Guys can kind of come and go. Um, so we'll have honest conversations with everybody and continue to recruit our butts off over the next month or two to see if we can add some really good pieces to go along with some good core guys. So uh, appreciative of the fans, appreciative of you guys. Uh, it was a fun, fun season and uh, a lot to be proud of and to build off of. What did, uh, as far as tonight goes, did you see anything coming in that uh, maybe led you to believe you guys would get off to a slow start? No, not really. I mean, I thought I thought they were really good in practice. Uh, it's always hard. Game one is always hard in the NIT. And, um, you know, I thought Utah Valley was really good. And we were a little offensively just couldn't get going. And we've always been able to somewhat do that. And we certainly, from the defensive side of it, haven't been able to especially probably the second half of the year. Um, so it's something we need to work on with the current roster as well as who we do bring in. Um, we got to have more of a defensive mentality. But their approach was good. I thought they were ready to go. I thought our fans brought it. Um, just kind of is what it is. I know that eventually you have to play everybody in the tournament. <laughs> but um, that matchup's a tough matchup for a two seed. They're, and they're, they're the WAC champion and the WAC has had its best season in 13 years, I think it was. So um, anything about that matchup that um, coming in kind of bothered you that as a two seed, you guys didn't exactly get the best matchup? I, I think, and I've talked about it, I think this is a really good tournament. And I think when they change the format to give guys like Utah Valley, who won their league, Probably five, ten years ago, they wouldn't have made the NIT. It may have gone to a bigger name, so there's a crowd. And I think it's great that some of these low major, whatever you want to call them, mid-major guys, earn it through winning in the conference tournament. Uh, so I think they're a really good team. They beat, what, Oregon at Oregon. They beat BYU at BYU. So I wasn't surprised that they were good. Um, I thought they were a terrific team. And I think Coach Matson does a great job. So I don't know if it was a matchup. I, I think all the games are pretty hard this time of year. Coach, it's a, it's a time to reflect and a time to recover, but I'm curious, once the dust starts to settle from all this, what's, is there any specific moment or thing that you're going to remember from this year? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Um, and I know everybody's probably tired of me talking about it, but uh, most wins, what, nine seasons? First time going to the postseason. Um, obviously, having three all-conference players that we, we recruited, uh, felt like we put them in a great position had some amazing crowds, just amazing, and so very, very proud that we got them reengaged. And although we didn't go to the NCAA tournament, I promise you that that, that will help because you got to do two things now. You have to retain and you have to recruit. And the guys that played in this environment, they're going to want to be a part of it. When you make it special, you have to make it special. And I think the guys uh, certainly felt that, you know, so um, – a lot of great things, bad ending, but a lot of great things. Coach, you talk about the defensive mindset moving forward. Um, I just wanted to point out, looking at halftime, Utah Valley was up just 13. 12 of those points were from three-pointers. Um, does Moving forward, is it defensively having longer people on uh, yeah. the perimeter or changing the mindset a little bit of both? Probably a little bit of both, yeah. I, I think you even look at Utah Valley, they were, they were bigger than us. And um, that's going to be an emphasis in, certainly in recruiting. Um, 
And that's just kind of part of it. You know, we kind of piecemealed our first class together. And I thought we did a pretty good job with some certain guys for sure. Um, but now it's it's when you when you start over, it's really, really scary when you start over. I think for every coach that took over a program, because it's not just our program. Every program, when a coach gets fired, for the most part, they're starting over just because of the nature of this thing. And I thought we certainly added great pieces. Uh, the only guy who has to leave is Mo. Uh, so now, yes, we got to recruit some length as well as change the mindset a little bit better and coach it a little bit better for sure. Mo, you mentioned Mo, 18 to 19 for his last college game. Uh, can you speak specific to tonight, what Mo did? Yeah, just phenomenal. Um, hate that he had to walk off this court with a, a loss. Um, but like I told him in the locker room, you certainly helped our program. I hope we help your career um, because when you take these one-year guys, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, this was a match made in heaven. Uh, whoever calls me, whether it's NBA, overseas, G League, they're going to get the greatest recommendation ever for a person um, and a player.